Good day class! This is Teacher Helen and I will welcome you to our new topic in English. It is all about classifying books in the library. Now, how to classify books in the library? Have you tried looking for a book that you need in the library? Did you find it easy with all the books in the shelves? There are so many books in the shelves. If you know how books are classified, it would be easy for you to look for the book you need. That's why we are going to study the different, uh, how to classify books inside the library. Uh, did you know that many years ago, a man named Melville Dewey devised the system of classifying books? Again, Melville Dewey. He chose certain main subjects and numbers so that all non-fiction books on the same subject would be grouped together. So, Mabel Dewey has a system how to classify non-fiction non books to fiction books. Uh, he grouped this together by choosing numbers. So, we called it as Dewey Decimal Classification System or the DDCS. Again, Dewey Decimal Classification System. Uh, let us tackle this one by one. In your book, page 43, we have 00, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, and 900 numbers. So, facts. You can judge a book by its cover. So, this is an example of book. English book, grade 5 book. So, uh, the Dewey Decimal Classification call number can be found on the spine level of the book. Where is the spine? This is the cover. And this is the spine. So you can find the number in this area, in this section. So when you go to a library, find the number here in the spine. Some also, the numbers are being paste in the shelf. Napod na sa shelf ang numbers. So, when the book is shelved, the Dewey Decimal Classification call number can be easily find. So, e nga naman ginaibotan ng book sa library, no? So, mangita ka, hala, e nga ba to si ma'am nga mangita mi sa 100? Kato ko ng mga 100 nga books. Example. So, you will easily find it on the spine label of the book. Nge. Ngita mo mga 100. 100 label books. So, let's start. What is 00? 00, zero, zero, zero means generalities. From the word general. Lahat. Books that contain information on many subjects. Examples are magazines, encyclopedia, and other references. So, general, uh, many subjects. Uh, we have many subjects, right? English, math, Filipino, uh, Arlpan, ESP, EPP. So, you can find it in a generality section. So, muad to kasi shelf. You go to the shelves that is 00, zero number 000. Zero, zero, zero. So, napudad to ang encyclopedias and magazine. Next is 100. Means philosophy and related disciplines. Na, uh, in the spine label of the book, there is 100. So, books about what man thought about himself and the love and pursuit of wisdom. So, mga philosophies about, about yourself, about life, about uh, disciplines in human being. Next is 200. 
it is all about religion. So, if you are going to research about religion or the history of the religions, uh, you will search the section 200 na label. In the spine label is 200. It is all about books that man's acknowledgement of God and the divine and how man expresses it. So, it is all about God and the divine and the divine so if you have an assignment about in your, your religion teacher or in, in christian christian living books so you can go to the section 200 300 the social sciences so uh, in the book lay, spine label is numbered 300 so, it is all about social sciences. Books about men as a social being and his relationship to the main members of human society. So, it is you as a human. Uh, your relationship in your uh, community to the members of the human society, the stakeholders. Okay. You can search in the 300 numbered spine label. So, 400, it is all about language. Uh, languages. 400 books about how man learn to communicate with others through words and symbols. So, na adani sa language. Uh, you can find books about uh, words, uh, how to communicate uh, people using uh, different languages. So, we have many languages, right? So, we can speak uh, English, um, Tagalog, Filipino, oh, communicate with others through words and symbols. So, ano ni mong na-search uh, sa 400 section? 500. Pure sciences. Books about man's understanding of nature, land, sea, and sky. So, it is studying your environment. So, magpa-research si ma'am. Uh, especially in... Uh, uh, science, science, biology, and astronomy. It is books about man's understanding of nature, land, sea, and sky. Mm -hmm. study kag sciences. So, napoda ni ang mga uh, great, great invention of our scientists. So, basert si ma'am, uh, you go to 500 section. What are the types of land? Mga anyong lupa. O, oh, ato mo. Mundo mo sa pure sciences. 500. So, 600. Technology and applied sciences. So, from the word technology. So, it talks about 600 na ha? Numbered 600. Books about how man can apply what he knows about different processes of science and about nature. So, it is the application of what you have learned in the science processes. So, we have different uh, processes, right? Observing, communicating. Mm -mm. So, this time, when you have those... Uh, skills and processes uh, you will apply it so na mag-create na ng mga technologies just like ICT computers and others so mo na ni mga invention invention technology and apply 700 the arts oh arts to those who are uh, inclined with Spatial intelligence, 
Uh, what do you mean by spatial? Uh, Lahiro mo drawing. Iyan ang, iyan ang field ang art. Spatial. Intelligence. 700. Books that tells tell how man can enjoy himself through painting, music, dancing, and other creative expression. So, in short, mapping. So, if you have an assignment in your mapping and you cannot find it in your own book, so you can go to the library and search it to 700 section. It means the arts na nasiya na ni makita. You can found in that section. Tahay gipar search kani ma'am of what are the shading, uh, shade different shading techniques. Oh, magalto ko. Hala na pa research ba si ma'am? So I will go. You will go to. 700 section now 800 it's all about literature so 800 books like myths epic sagas legends poetry and plays for men to read and enjoy himself so mga paani siya fiction books uh, legends poetry Mga hinimura ba? Literature is a creative writing. Uh, I know that some of you likes mga poems, poetry, uh, mga epics or epiku. Uh, you can search that on 800 section. Para na po mo know how. Unsa day? Unsa day mga writing sa una? Uh, Hmm. Ang alamat ng ampalaya. Hmm. Let's go to 900. The last but not the least. 900, it's all about history. So, some of you like likes history, right? Especially in your Aral Pan. Uh, 900. Books that man wrote to record events in all parts of the world and the people who took part in those events. So, if you want to study history in advance, uh, before you're going to uh, go to your secondary schools, so you will go to the library and find 900 labeled number. See, that's all for classifying books in the library again. Zero, zero, generalities, 100 philosophy and related disciplines, 200 religion, 300 social sciences, 400 language, 500 pure sciences, 600 technology and applied sciences, 700 the arts, 800 literature, and 900 history. Now let's go to the second skill that to be studied this morning. Is all about possessive forms of nouns. Possessive forms of nouns, what are these nouns? So, naaday po yung nouns na possessive in possessive forms. So, let's try what is this kind of noun. These are nouns can be used to show ownership or position. So, from the word ownership, so uh, these are nouns that uh, makaingon ka nga imuhan ni iyahan ni ako ani iyahan na mm. these are nouns shows ownership here are ways by which nouns can be changed to possessive forms so naatay ways uh, first add apostrophe and s uh, look for the red red this one the red Add apostrophe and s to most nouns in singular form. So singular form means single. Example, Marita is a single noun, single form. So we add apostrophe s. Marita's gown is expensive. Again, Marita's gown is expensive. Is it correct? Yes, it is correct. So, it shows ownership, right? Uh, who is the owner of the gown? Marita. Number two. 
add only an apostrophe to plural nouns ending in s. O plural ending in s. Example, parents. Parents is plural, right? Because we have mother and father. Parents. Parents' advice should be heeded. Again, parents' advice should be heeded. Correct? Yes, correct. How about number three? Add an apostrophe and S. If the plural form of the noun does not end in S. Plural form siya, but the wala nag end of S. Add apostrophe S. So, let's try the example. Uh, the children's books are on sale. Okay, children is a plural, right? Children. But, it does not end with S, so we are going to add apostrophe S. Again, the children's books are on sale. Number four. Add an apostrophe and S to proper names of persons ending in S. If the name has only one syllable. Oh, if one syllable regalin na ang name, just like, and ending with S, you will add apostrophe and S. Example, the name is S. Oh, it ends with S, right? But, it is only one syllable. So, we will add apostrophe S. Says, decision is final. Says, decision is final. Correct. Number five. Add only an apostrophe to when the proper noun ending in S has two or more syllables. So, ganiha one rano. In one syllable, uh, we will add apostrophe S. This time is two or more syllables. We will only add apostrophe. So, let's try the example. Dennis. Oh, duha no. Dennis. Two syllables. And it ends with S. So, apostrophe ratong idugang. Look. Dennis. Dennis cartoons are funny. Dennis cartoons are funny. Number six. Add only an apostrophe if the proper name of a person ending in S is followed by a word beginning in S. Matik dan class no? So another. If it is ending with S kuno ang sa person. And followed by a word, S na po, apostrophe lang atong idugang. Na, example, Carlos, ends with S, right? So, apostrophe lang ko na idugang. And it followed by S, the word beginning in S, shirt. So, apostrophe lang gihapon atong idugang. Read, Carlos, shirt is soiled. Carlos, shirt is soon. Correct? Apostrophe, try idugang kung nag-end sa S. And it followed by a word that start again with letter S. Number 7. Add an apostrophe and S to both nouns or all nouns to show separate ownership. So, Ako ni, imo na. O, oh, separate ownership. Unsa sa mga ibutang, apostrophe. Ah, possessive form. Apostrophe and S. Example. Emails and tones projects were done on time. Emails, emails and tones projects are done on time. Another, we will use name of your classmates. AJ. And Ivan's project, EJ's, and Ivan's projects were done on time. Correct? Oh, kang EJ ko nga project, o ang kang Ivan nga project, 
done on time. Number eight. Add an apostrophe and S only to the last noun to show joint ownership. Asa ta mo butang? To the last. Dili na magtagsa. So, number 7, di ba tagsa sila? Emails o si Tons. Na sila apostrophe S. Tagsa sila. Kun, separate ilang ownership. Aho ni, imuna. Separate. Silang duha, may nai apostrophe S. But, when we join together, ilang duha na, ilang duha na nga project, usara ilang gibuhat, Hmm. Apostrophe S to siya. Apostrophe S idugang. Very hard ha po ng apostrophe S. But only to the last noun. O, last noun. Kinsa tong ikaduha nga noun. Ikaduha nga name. More tibutangan og apostrophe S. So, let's see with the example. Email and tones. Alright. Ag email. What na si Jay? Apostrophe S. Email and tunes project was done on time. So, usara ilang project. Email and tunes project was done on time. So, only to the last noun. Kani, last noun man si tune. Ag na ay apostrophe S. Compare sa number 7, nga separate ownership sila, tagsa sila gama o project. Ang name nila, Tagsa po sila apostrophe S. Look, emails. Tones. No? So, you can now compare the two. Number nine, the last ways on how possessive form nouns can be changed to possessive forms. Use the of the of the Phrase for the nouns that are inanimate objects in showing ownership. So, what is inanimate object? Be of the man of the. You 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 san kuno ni mo of the ang mga inanimate objects. Inanimate objects are those. Natural elements, mga sensible, makita, makita, senses, by our senses. Okay, example, the wheels, oh, makita man ng wheels, no? By seeing, the wheels of the car are new. Again, the, way, the wheels of the car are new. Oh, we use possessive form of the so now you are going to answer I guess it's the end of our lesson now answer uh, exercise one only so, we are done with our lesson. What are the two skills? So we have classifying books in the library and possessive forms of nouns. So, thank you for listening. Have a good day and keep safe always. Goodbye, children.